July 26th is a day celebrated in Cuba in which young Cuban revolutionaries, without much success, attacked the forces of the dictatorship in 1953. The day aims to celebrate the lives and bravery of the young Cuban forces who dedicated their lives to the independence of the Cuban nation. Deputy Head of Mission at the Cuban Embassy in Namibia, Aldo Fuentes, spoke to NBC News on the significance of the day. For us, that, uh, that is a very sad uh, story because uh, these young people that attacked this, uh, two, those two barracks in Cuba in 1963, uh, the military action, both of them uh, uh, didn't success. So uh, the, the soldiers of the tyranny uh, took in prison a lot of the, those uh, soldiers that fought there, a lot of those, a lot of those young people that fought there and torture them and, and kill a, a, a lot of them. Fuentes further said the celebration brings together the Cuban community in Namibia annually to celebrate those whose blood waters their freedom. He said the day will remain important in the Cuban history for its part in the country's liberation struggle. It's very important this gathering because it, this is an opportunity to get together as, uh, as the word said and to, to interchange about uh, uh, about uh, the different things that they are doing here in Namibia because we have a huge group of uh, Cuban volunteers that work in different areas. The event saw a number of Namibians celebrate the day with the Cuban family, which signifies the long relationship the two countries share, dating back to even before Namibians' independence. Salomotenga, NBC News, Finduk.